Hello, YouTube, and welcome to another mine. Why is my skin Steve's skin? What the heck? Who cares? Maybe it's been like that because the update. I don't know. Uh, who cares? It doesn't matter for the purposes of this update. I mean, of this video. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to be showing you everything that's going on in the new Minecraft update. But first, I just want to show you a little east Not an Easter egg, but just this little thing that's cool and really awesome. So you can see this is a thing that will kill mobs that uh, I can get the skeleton that I'm about to spawn here to kill mobs so you can shoot me through this hole here and if I go over here it can shoot me through here so if I put a mob in there in this in that spot there yeah if I put a mob in there um, it'll shoot that so if I put this creeper in there I'll show you so if a creeper gets shot and killed by a skeleton there we go if a creeper gets shot and killed by a skeleton Here we go, here's a good spot. There we go. It's not shooting me. Okay. Sorry about that, and I just had to get the skeleton killed. Now, if I, you can see, the creeper dropped a music disc. And, yeah, that's what it does if it is killed by a skeleton. Anyway, let's get on with the update stuff. So, um, the first cool thing I want to show you is that you can name mobs. Like, um, in creative, anyway. Like, uh, that cow, uh, this cow over here, his name is Billy. And that cow over there, let's see if we can get him. His name is Bob. Alright, shut up. That music is getting annoying. You're. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so the the names are Billy and Bob. You can do that to any mob from a spawn egg. Uh, see, so I'm gonna show you in here. I'm actually gonna have to give myself some experience for this. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna show you. Um, you can take spawn eggs, use an anvil, and you can name it. So I'm gonna name this. Jimmy. And so now I can take the villager egg. And. Bam! Look, it's Jimmy. So that's a cool, uh, cool thing uh, you can do. Um, but there's actually one thing I don't like about this update. Right here. It now takes much more bone meal to grow your crops to full height. So watch, see. One, two, one, two, three. Uh, the, the uh, cool thing about this, though, is it does give off green particles. You can see. But, yeah, it does take longer, and it annoys me. Why do they do that? It takes two to three bone meal every time. And he's living in my house. Okay, who cares? Uh, we're gonna move on now. And uh, we'll keep it in. We're all move. We're moving on. We're gonna go down to the next exhibit, exhibit B, for the next part of the update. Down here. Here we are, and you're probably thinking, Jesus, what the heck is this thing? Don't look like anything I ever seen. Right? Well, yeah. It's something new. We'll get to that in a second. I just want you to sh uh, look out this window. You can actually see, if you look at the lava, it has a slightly different texture. Look at that. It's a little more runny now. Anyway, this stuff here is a new ore. Um, it's called quartz. And, um, right now it's mainly just a decorative block, but they're making, Mojang is making more and more uses for it every, well, probably as we speak. Anyway, this ore can't be found in your regular, uh, in your regular world. To find this, you have to go deeper. Here in the nether, um, I totally just forgot. Okay, yeah, here in the nether, um, n here in the nether, quartz is very common. It looks like, oh, hi, pigman. It looks like this. 
going to yeah it's right here so if I mine some quartz it doesn't take that long to mine but well I have a diamond pick so yeah but uh it's quartz there you go all right I got four quartz and so now if you look in yeah so quartz can right now just be used to make blocks by putting four around like that and you get a block of quartz um also another cool thing if you uh you no know, if you smelt another another rack like this it makes something called here let's fast forward the nether brick it's not like nether brick that you would find yeah but it's nether brick here i'll just i'll get two more nether rack and you can and make nether bricks out of it Alright, so now that I've gotten four nether brick, I can show you the crafting table here. You can see that if I take this and put them around like that, um, you get nether brick. So you don't have to find a fortress to get nether brick now, so that's, that's nice. Alright. Alright, so that's um, all the changes in the nether. Now let's go back to the overworld, into my lab, where I can show you, uh, where I'll show you a bunch of new redstone creations you can make. Alright, it's down here. And in here is my laboratory. L laboratory. L lab laboratory. Or however, the, just whatever. And what you can see right here is the first exhibit. Exhibit A. The daylight sensor. Um, it's actually what powers all these lights. And um, during the daytime, it gives off a redstone current. Um, it can be flipped with something like this. Um, or you could also put a redstone torch here and have the current going out that way to create a light that turns on during the night. That's how um, all these lights turn on with this daylight sensor over there. I'll show you. It's crafted. It's crafted with three wood slabs, three glass, three nether quartz, and it's crafted thusly. So you just put three nether quartz across the top, three glass. I mean, across the middle, three glass across the top, and then three uh, wood slabs there, and then you get daylight sensor. Yeah, so that's how that works. Alright, uh, um, yeah, so all these lights will turn on as it gets darker. Anyway, um, if we move on here, this is the trapped chest. Um, I'm not sure how it's created, but when you open it, here, I'll go close so you can see, when you open it, it gives off a redstone current. You can see it turned on the lights. Um, so that's cool. And then over here are the weighted pressure plates. Um, you cannot turn them on by stepping on them. Um, instead, you have to get wood. So the lighter golden pressure plate takes, um, each of them both take one block of anything to get them to the first redstone. But to get them to the second block of redstone, uh, the gold one needs five. See, with the five, it can make it to the second one there. And then the iron one needs 43 to make it to the second one. It's not even there yet. See, look at that. Now it is. Alright. Uh, moving on, we got a few more things to show you. Right here, um, this is the block of redstone um, that I'm showing you. I have to make it. It's just made with nine redstone. It's like a regular block. You can just make blocks of redstone now. Alright, just put them over here, like that. And, yeah, block of redstone. Um, the cool thing about these is that they actually give off a redstone current. So pull this lever. It turns on the redstone there. The that's what this does. So you could create a double circuit, like um redstone back here that connects to you know, a light over here, and then this could connect to a light. So when you pull this lever, the light over there would turn on, and when then when you pull it the other way, the light over there would turn on. You know what I mean. Anyway, now here's the redstone comparator. Um I'm not sure how it's crafted and it's really weird and uh, there's even if I you can do that with it, I don't know how it works at all doesn't send any redstone currents out as far as I can tell. It's really weird. So just look it up. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, here I'm going to show you the one of my favorites, the hopper, right here. Um, so the hopper is crafted with five iron ingots in a chest, and it is crafted thusly, like that, and then with a chest in the middle, and you can take the hopper, um, yep, it's a hopper, it's a tornado-like thing, looks really weird, yeah, 
it's hard to break. Anyway, I'll show you with this one. Uh, if you put them over a chest like this, you can see how it's kind of funneling into the chest. Whatever I drop in there, if I put all of this wood into the chest, that will slowly funnel down into this chest. See if I open it? Look, it's slowly filling up with wood. So that's a cool feature. Like, I can also put the bone meal in, and they'll both slowly start to come in. Well, first it'll just be the wood. But, here, I'll just wait a second. And there comes the bone meal. See, so that's a cool feature. And now, finally, I just want to, um, finally in this lab, I just want to show you uh, this new thing called the dropper. Looks like a dispenser, except it's happier. Anyway, so the dispenser, right, um, these both have potions of harming in them. So if, like, if I shoot the dispenser, it hits me with the harm. Wow, that took away a lot of health. It hits me with the potion. Um, but if I hit the dropper, it just tosses out the potion and I get it. Here, I'll step away this time so you can see. Dang it. Here. See? It doesn't break it. That's the difference. Um. Anyway, now I just want to show you some two new minecarts they've added. Down here. So you can see, um, minecart with, this is a hopper, and a minecart with TNT. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the remainder of my stuff down on this track with the minecart with hopper. And if I go up here and push the hopper off and stand on the pressure plate, um, we'll wait till it gets back. Here. Alright, wait till it gets back. And there it is. You can see that it actually picked up the stuff that I threw on the ground. So that's pretty cool. Um, and now finally, on um, the minecart with TNT, which actually also introduced a new rail. Uh, it's hard to distinguish. I don't know what that was. Yeah, so, yeah there, here's the activator rail right here. You see, this just doesn't have the yellow bars on it. It's really hard to distinguish between power rails and activator rails. But I'm going to blow up the minecart with TNT now. Show you what it does. Push it down here. So the activator rail set it off, and now it's going back, and it blew up here. It's actually interesting what it blows up and what it doesn't. Um, it blew up itself, it blew up the other minecart, but you'll notice it didn't um, destroy the rails or any blocks supporting the rails. So yeah. So, like, the rails are still perfectly intact. But everything else is, like, completely ripped apart. But. Yeah, that's it. Um, you'll notice, if you come, uh, if we go inside my lab here. You'll notice if you come inside here, the lights are turned on due to the daylight sensor. Except these ones aren't because the thing here broke because of the minecart. But anyway... <clears throat> Most of them are turning on wonderfully. So yeah, and yeah, see they all turn on during the night. Anyway, that's really it for the minecart, uh, not minecart, Minecraft update. My name is Fahrenheit six four six. Um, I plan on doing a lot of more let's plays and how tos in the future. So that's it for now. Remember to subscribe, comment, and like. Please check out my other videos. Don't just not listen to my subscribe, comment, and likes. Um. Please at least check out my other videos and consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Goodbye.